finally there is some materiality behind the we need to go for growth not just um, you know uh, saving in in the eurozone not just budget cuts and so the, you always had sort of the marginal countries and some countries in trouble now you have a country that's less in trouble saying that so that's a usual it's, it, it's not, it's not, um, it's not uh, so any surprise. But do you think, Cornelia, the press are perhaps overplaying the rift and, and, the, and the confrontational spirit between the two of them? Because I would imagine that both of them probably won't want a bit of both, although Olon wants more growth and uh, Merkel wants more austerity. You're absolutely right. And you see Germany shifting ever so slightly now that, the, the, that Europe, uh, that Greece leave, leave, leaving the euro is a clear and present danger. They're, they're ever so slightly pushing it towards to say, oh, maybe we should have some wage inflation so we can, so we can allow the, so we can appreciate a little bit against the rest of the Eurozone. So you see Germany, the, the, the finance minister, Mr. Schäuble, ever so slightly moving towards the demands of the people who say, look, something's got to happen. Let's take a look at the South China Morning Post. Um, when you see the World Bank trimming growth expectations, um, for China to 8.2 percent, I think. Hmm, 8.2 percent, not too bad. It is quite bad because China needs 5 percent growth just to stand still. There's still so many people that need to be lifted out of poverty. 300 million people in the country are below the poverty line, so they need that that growth. But we always knew 2012 would be the year where this was going to happen because the Chinese economy had been overheating. So you needed to let some air out of the bubble and that would always, we always thought it would coincide with the leadership change that's going, that's, go, that's starting to happen mm -hmm. now in China. Now let's have a look at Gulf News, the, the very important historic day in Egypt yesterday, uh, the people there being able to vote in elections, democracy has arrived, Cornelia. Democracy has arrived, but we will have to see. Do you see, democracy is a little bit like a, a, a marriage. It's great, it has arrived with the wedding day, but then it has to be lived. So we will then have to see whoever becomes the president, whether it is Amr Musa, um, Al Fatu, um, um, uh, Musri, um, independently of who it is, it will then have to be lived day in, day out. And that's where the challenge is going to happen. And where is the economic program? of the candidates because you have a mass unemployment of over 50%. Mm. Uh, second day of polls today, they open again in about just over an hour. Um, Facebook, now we've seen this. We all were excited about the flotation and then the shares started moving lower and now there's more trouble for Facebook. You see, I'm again not, not with you. I wasn't absolutely not f um, fascinated by the flotation. I always thought it was overpriced because, you know, the revenues just didn't, you know, it cash king, the revenues just didn't justify it. But it's bad for NASDAQ because they had the glitch. Then it's bad for Facebook and the investment banks who clearly didn't inform the broader investors on how they saw things but talked to some of the institutional investors. And that's, well, that's not quite cricket. Got to, that's how they've got to clarify, haven't they? They've got to get Absolutely. to the bottom of that, who actually knew what in this yeah, situation. Yeah, exactly. And if, if what we think uh, happened, happened, that's just not cricket. Um, you just briefly said that Google reminds you of the new Microsoft. Oh, the old Microsoft. Yes, because we have we have the standoff now. There was a closed room meeting yesterday in um, in Brussels, and there will be there will be and they have antitrust concerns. And remember, Mario Monti made his name. He um, did. And he made his name being. Um, he went after Microsoft. He went after Microsoft David and, and Goliath, GE. It was at the time. The, and GE and big companies. So maybe there's a new there's a new prime minister of somewhere in the making. Now, maybe. is your money on these? Uh, these Russian the singers, what do you reckon? They're terrific, they're terrific. <laughs> the the, the Buranovskaya Babushki, yes, I think uh, my money is on them. They're sort of this, this, this elderly, you know, in this, in this youth culture where everybody has to be so good. This, this, these elderly people stomping out on the stage, terrific.